Good morning. <coughs> Start again. Good morning and welcome to weekly vlog number two. Yes, I've started a second weekly vlog, even though I have no idea how the first weekly vlog will have gone down. Um, but I start my new job today, so it's currently, what time is it? Almost half nine. Um, I'm supposed to start at half nine, but they asked me to come in at ten. And yeah, so I'm just kind of doing some bits before I have to go into work and then, yeah, see how it goes. <laughs> But it should be fine and it's lovely and sunny out at the moment as well so that always helps but I thought I'd check in with you quickly this morning to say hello and then I'll see you later on let you know how it went hello so I've just got home from my first day and uh, it went quite well um lots to learn lots to take in <laughs> um a bit overwhelming a little bit uh but I think we just need to come up with some sort of like plan as to how to tackle the learning and stuff because um you know I pick things up quickly I just need I need a little guidance in the right direction and then I can get on with stuff so yeah but it's a bit mishmashy at the moment <laughs> but we'll see we'll see it's only one day or half a day <laughs> but yeah I'm glad to be home though I missed home <laughs> But no, it's good to get out as well and not look at the same scenery all the time. But yeah, I just thought I'd update you, let you know we're home. And yeah, I'm going to get on with stuff. I need to um, add the last bit of the vlog to the weekly vlog. Then I need to get that uploaded and scheduled to go, to go live today. And then, yeah, just... I think I need to do some bits downstairs, yeah, and then I'll probably relax, although by, although by then it'll be time to put dinner on, so. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys later. Smith is home. Hello. And he's making me dinner, because he's the best. No, by trying. You are the best. You is the best. Where are you going? Mm -hmm. huh? Put my hand in. Don't show my legs no matter. <laughs> and the kitchen's a disgrace, so. Yeah. What's new? Yes. That's <laughs> true. We're having the spaghetti. Spaghetti. And our favourite spaghetti and goujons with like um, a tomato sauce. I call it starfish pastetti. Yes. Because <laughs> I get the goujons and I put them like a starfish. Yeah. Well, Excited, well, we I have that because <laughs> I'm sure that's pretty loud. Yeah. I say starfish spaghetti. No. No. Starfish yeah. pastetti. Yeah. yeah. We don't have any parmesan, which makes Stephanie sad. We need the parmesan. You want the parmesan? We need it. Yeah. Well, might be some cheese in there. I can. Mm. Same thing. No. This is starfish biscotti or biscotti, whatever he calls it. I was saying maybe don't stick it in the middle because starfish don't really have chicken goujon sticking out the middle. <laughs> I, like, I, like, I like a thick part in the middle. Just no rice for it to go. It looks weird, so I just middle. <laughs> but it's very, very yummy. Yeah. And. It just, it's just missing parmesan. I said I'd go shopping here, but you said no. Mm. Good morning and happy Tuesday, everybody. Um, sorry, <laughs> we didn't film much last night. I feel like this is broken records. Not good. Um, but I literally crashed. I was so tired yesterday. And, yeah, we... So we had dinner. Last you saw we had dinner. And then we watched uh, Silicon Valley, which we love. Um, we finished series five, so that's good. Does anyone else watch Silicon Valley? Um, it's just, it's so funny. Like, obviously it's like, you know, geeky tech app creators, etc., cetera, um, or tech creators. And, but it's just the characters as well. <laughs> 
like in the season five finale, um, Jared says something so funny. <laughs> And it's like, it's not a nice thing to say, but he says it's so deadpan and it's just like, you can't say that. <laughs> he said it like it was um, just like how I'm talking to you, basically. <laughs> so funny. Um, but yeah, let us know if you watch that and if you enjoy it. Um, so yeah, that's what we did. Watched Silicon Valley and then went to bed. Well, I went to bed. David came back downstairs and I guess played games. I don't know. <laughs> Yes, but today is a new day. I'm just sitting downstairs. I've got some time before I have to leave to go to work. And yeah, I've made my smoothie. Started making smoothies in the morning because I don't get a lunch break because I don't work a full day. I'm based on hours. So I make a sandwich to take with me for lunchtime. But I don't, at the moment, I haven't got what I need to make breakfast so I need to go shop and get that stuff <clears throat> so what I've done is I've made a smoothie and I'll drink that when I get to work so I've already had tea um so I'll, I'll have that when I get to work and that should sort of quell any like food cravings that I might have <laughs> um or hunger and then yeah come lunchtime I think I ate about half one yesterday which is not bad because Normally I eat about 12 when I'm at home. So yeah, I've done that. And I think I'm just going to catch up on some social media now. Say hello to you guys. <laughs> but yeah, I'll catch up with you later. Hey guys, so I am home now. And well, I've been home for a while. But I did some, um, did some bits around the house quickly. And then I was munching on some Pringles. <laughs> Um, but now I'm chilling so I thought I would say hello and check in with you. Today went really well at work, much better than yesterday because yesterday, oh the battery's going to die soon, yesterday felt like um, very higgledy piggledy and there we go. So as we were so rudely interrupted <laughs> it is quite some time later. Um, the battery died and then I had no batteries to replace so I was like oh okay right put some batteries on to charge now and then whoopsie and then yeah and then David came home and then we had dinner and then we were just watching the flash and now it's now <laughs> so I have no I have no idea what I was saying to you back then, apart from it had been a good day at work, and that was about it. <laughs> so yeah, we are, well David's home, there he is. Being harassed by a kitty cat. She keeps making noises at me, like she meows a lot more now. She, talks oh, to me. she makes woeful meow noises. Yeah, the one she made a little while ago, that was just whimpery and sad. Let's see if she'll do it. Jessie Min. Jesse Min. Jazz? Hey. Minnie Jazz? Min. <laughs> Minnie Min. No. Hey. Oh. Nope. They will the not camera. perform <clears throat> for the camera. Got a kitty out here. Where's daddy? Where's daddy? Go find daddy. Go on. Go on. <laughs> go find daddy. Go on. Go, go, go. Can you hear the zoom, baby? <laughs> I'll talk to you in private. Hey. Come in here, Dad. What? Hey. Noise? Making it? <laughs> no, I will not perform. I am not a monkey. Seriously, you're not a bloody noise, Mom. Chaz. 
guys. Oh, look at you, fatty bum. And no baby. <sighs> Good morning and happy Wednesday. So, it happened again. <laughs> I crashed. Fell asleep. Well, maybe I should stop coming up in the evenings, like coming upstairs and <laughs> just go upstairs when you're ready to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, no, no. An exciting evening but hey ho um, today is another day and I'm off to work it's a lot it's very overcast today it's not as sunny which is a bit uh, but I think it's going to brighten up later which is good <laughs> I got my little babies down here look at her say hello <laughs> I got this one here say morning she keeps staring at the strap because <laughs> she wants to play with it because she thinks it's hers but it's not <laughs> yeah so I just thought I'd say good morning and yeah that's it really <laughs> not very exciting I'm sorry but um oh well when David's home we've got some stuff to talk about later so we'll talk about it then. <laughs> Oh dear. Good afternoon. I am home from work. Hurrah. Very happy. And it was another good day today. Um, I was on my own for most of the day in the office, but it was very busy. I got on with stuff. The phone rang quite a bit. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm getting into the swing of talking to people again on the phone, things like that. No biggie. But I actually have something to vlog about. And I'm very excited too, can you tell? <laughs> so, David caved and finally said yes to me ordering this, which I'm so excited about and I cannot wait. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> it is a Hotel Chocolat, but it's not just any old chocolate, no. This is a subscription box. Hi, you want to be in the vlog too? Okay. <laughs> Hi, Jazzy Min. Yes, everybody says hello. But but we're talking about chocolate now. Yeah. So, yes, it's a subscription box. I'm very excited about it. It's an M box, so it's basically um, a bit of everything. Because you can get dark or some other stuff. <laughs> And basically you get two of each chocolate. So there's eight chocolates in here. And from the looks of Jazz, from the looks of it, they're in these little individual bags. They must be in trays. And this is basically what's in the box. So, and this is the first time I'm seeing what flavours we have. We've got focus. Ooh, raspberry rose and lychee. White chocolate ganache encased in raspberry milk chocolate shell. Nom. And there's Dizzy Praline, which is hazelnut praline sealed in milk chocolate shell decorated with white chocolate. Ooh, cashew nut. Lightly salted and ground into a smooth praline. In is that enrobed? In... Is that enrobed? Yeah, enrobed in caramel milk and topped with more cashews. Ooh, and a white baton. Astonishing melt and creamy rather than too sweet. Mm, so I'm very excited to eat this. And you can get them every week. It's like $5.95, including delivery. And you can either have a weekly delivery or every two weeks. I think we're doing every two weeks for the moment because... Although, I, <laughs> funny story, I rang Hotel Chocolat about this this morning. Like, I said to them, oh, I ordered this two weeks ago, but it says my delivery is the 7th of June, which is a bit eh. But she said, no, nope, it's been dispatched. It will arrive this week, and obviously it's arrived today. Um, but the date that's on there, which is the 7th of June, I think that's for the every week one. So I think we can get it every... Mm, no, but then it should be next week. So maybe it is every two weeks. Oh, I don't know. We'll just have to see. If the next box is coming on the 7th, I think she said they take money for it on the 31st, so we get paid then, so... <laughs> but yeah, when we try them, we'll let you know what we think. But Hotel Chocolat is fast becoming my favourite chocolate, uh, next to Cadbury's. 
and next to Lindor. <laughs> so that's saying something considering I don't have a lot of favourites. But yeah, we'll let you know what they're like. I'm going to get changed now and I've got some washing up to do. So I'll catch you later. <laughs> so I can't really eat the chocolate until David comes home. Boo. <laughs> so I'm going to make do with these. Chocolate hobnobs. Um, a girl at work yesterday, she um, offered me a oat biscuit with chocolate, which to me was probably hobnobs with chocolate, or they tasted like hobnobs with chocolate. But anyway, I ate one and I was like, oh, these are so good, and it's made me crave chocolate hobnobs ever since. So. I'm going to eat these to tide me over or to stop me digging into that box before David gets home. <laughs> because I am a chocolate fiend, I love chocolate. And the only reason I will never give up chocolate is because if I deny myself chocolate, I will eat it. I will want it and want it and want it and want it and then I will eat a crap ton. But if I don't deny myself chocolate and eat it whenever I feel like it, Nine times out of ten, I don't really eat much chocolate. Only when I really feel like it. So, I think that's a good way to go about it. At least for me, anyway. But I'll probably end up eating, like, two biscuits. Because, again, whenever we have, like, a packet of biscuits, I will open them. I'll be like, yeah, I really fancy these. I'll open them. And then I'll only eat about one or two, and then I'm done. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just just the way I am but I know there's other people that can just go for a whole packet in like 20 minutes or something is that what you guys are like are you ones that you just have a couple here and there or you just demolish the whole packet I think David would demolish the whole packet I'm not sure depends what it is I mean he's very into Jacob's crackers at the moment and he does go through them so maybe he's a go through the packet kind of person <laughs> update on the chocolate hobnobs I only had two and I don't need any more <laughs> craving satisfied now if it was the other chocolate I would probably want to eat it all but would be very conserved like I'd eat one and then be like okay I'll wait a little while and wait the second one <laughs> so it's evening again and I'm upstairs I did what I said I wouldn't do. <laughs> and we've come upstairs. David's here. Hello, everybody. Hello. What did you say you wouldn't do? And the kitty catty. Kitty cats. Oh. I said that, um, that coming upstairs makes me fall asleep like it did last night. Mm -hmm. And that I probably shouldn't do that. Me too. <laughs> It is 9 o'clock, it's later than it is was. Is it? Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yondu. <laughs> David's flicking through the Sky movies. But, should we try one of our chocolates? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, you take it. What should we try? The raspberry rose and lychee, dizzy praline, cashew nuts, or the white batter? So the Dizzy Praline is the outrageously smooth, meltingly soft hazelnut praline. So it's hazelnut praline, praline, whatever, sealed in a milk chocolate shell, decorated with white chocolate. What are you doing? We think the cat's going bald, bald or something. Bald, she, bald spot on her ear. I, you see it in the sun as well. I think it's just her. Yeah, Praline one, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Hazelnut praline. Mm. Really, really taste like really strong. Mm. And it's really smooth. Mm. I say there's more praline than there is like chocolate. If that makes sense. Mm. Like there's more middle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where some chocolates is like a little blob in the middle. <laughs> Yandu. Boot has found the, the toe or no, no. cut someone's toe off. But then we never speak of this again, remember? Oh well. Mm -hmm. Do you want another one? No, it's, it's two pieces, isn't it? 
You can try the other ones tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> that actually is really rich. Mm. So I was saying earlier, you can't eat all of these at once. I mean, no, at least I can. Sick. I feel really sick. Mm. I could probably eat one more, but mm. we'll be good. We'll be boring and eat one tomorrow. And maybe Friday, being Friday, we'll have two. <clears throat> Star Wars news, eh? Yes. They've given a season that it's opening mm. in. <laughs> Rather than an opening date, they're giving us an opening season. Because they'll give the date next year. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, well, what can I say about it? It's late fall. Which we think is going to be possibly end of November, beginning of December, because fall ends on the 23rd in 2019 of December. Mm. I'm, so, I'm personally predicting it's going to open Thanksgiving weekend. I thought you said you saw rumours. There's rumours. Like some people are speculating mm. about it, and, I can't, and I'm going to agree with them. I reckon it's going to open Thanksgiving weekend. I mean... Thanksgiving does draw the crowds. Like Thanksgiving oh. week is supposed to be quite busy because yeah. I think Veterans is before it, isn't it, or is it after? I can't remember. There's always, there's always some sort of weekend. Mm. But if it if it is going to be Thanksgiving weekend, then that means that there's enough people, and this will be another way of getting people out of congested areas in Hollywood Studios and moving them to the new land. I mean, it's going to be absolute chaos. Mm. You know, but. If you're not a Star Wars fan, then it's good for the other areas like Toy Story and Pandora, yeah. I'm guessing. So. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying to you. I figured that, you know, the other parks would probably be a little bit quieter, mm. maybe even Pandora, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I don't know too much about Galaxy's Edge. Um, I, was, I, think I was reading something earlier that the Millennium Falcon ride, the spoilers, I'm going to potentially talk about something that I don't know nothing about. <laughs> so it's just speculation on my part. But I'd heard something possibly about it's like Mission Space, where you have to each person control something within the ride. Oh, okay. But, interactive. But more interactive, like shooting down TIE fighters and things like that. Again, I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't read anything concrete, just um, little blips here and there. So hopefully that's not spoiled it for anybody. I do apologise if I did, but yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know anything about it, so... No, I don't know much about it, to be honest with you, because, yeah, we're not massive Star Wars fans. Um, but I'd still want to check it out, because it's supposed to be, like, a village, town. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's meant, very immersive. Yeah, it's meant to be, you're meant to be telling, doing your own story or something with it, but I thought that was going to be part of the hotel bit, so I don't know if that takes place before the hotel opens or it's after the hotel opens it's meant to be you're meant to stay within that you know kind of universal mm. theming or whatever so i'm not too fussed about it overall just because i'm not a massive star wars fan um but in a, but i'm looking at it in a good way if it you know if it's open when we eventually go or whenever that is um hopefully it draws crowds away from other areas, areas that i'd like mm -hmm. so well spoiler alert we could possibly be there for opening weekend and we've never ever been anywhere where the, it's it's been something new has just opened. Mm. Yeah, so that'd be pretty cool because I was saying to David as well, that's also another option. We could actually, you know, make a little bit of Disney history and be at the opening of uh, Star yeah. Wars Galaxy's Edge. I wasn't sure she was going to say that. As I said, we could possibly be there because it being full, so it could be any time in full so um yeah we'll see see what happens you know, there's nothing concrete yet obviously what do you so. guys think let us know yeah. what would you do if if you had a holiday or vacation booked and you've just found out that star wars and might be opening when you're there mm. will you be like whatever just carry on or does it make you rethink the crowds you know let us know what you think about yeah. it but I mean, I'm, I don't think it's going to be a problem either way. Just got to look at it. In terms of if you like it, you like it, you know. So that's our 13 minutes of wow. ranting. We'll <laughs> Actually, down. no, it's not ranting. No, um, it's not ranting at all. Just, just, it's a, discussion. just a chat. Yeah, discussion. I want to discuss more yeah. and be <coughs> yeah. more interactive. Yeah, we're, we're in no way complaining. 
just want to fully state that. Yeah, no, like, I know, I, I used the wrong word. No, but I just think, like, generally we're not complaining about Galaxy's Edge or anything like that. Um, you never complained about it. No, in case it came across. Well, I don't think it came across. Well, I don't know. But you can cut this bit out if need be. You can preface it. You're the master of my universe. Don't groom, groom me on camera. You got black bits on your face, you dirty boy. Hey, man. Anyway, so we're we're probably going to say goodnight for now because there's not much else we're doing. <laughs> we a very full life, as we said before. Good night until tomorrow. Yes. See or in you. your case, ten seconds. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Uh, Good night. And happy Thursday. One more day till the weekend. I'm so excited. <laughs> Cannot wait for this weekend to get here. I don't know if I've said what we're doing this weekend. <clears throat> um, well, it's a bank holiday weekend, so we get Monday off. Yes. And Sunday, we're going to the Game of Thrones experience, or it's, it's a concert. Um, for Game of Thrones in Wembley and oh my god I'm so excited to see it <clears throat> basically the com hi she you have been so vocal this morning I know you want to go out but you've got to wait I'm going out soon okay nuisance so anyway going back to what I was saying we're going to Wembley on Sunday to see um, Game of Thrones live in concert and basically the composer for the show um, Ramin something I'll, I'll put his name on the bottom um, he is there I think well he was there in the American one and um, <clears throat> he will sort of compose what sort of he oh conduct that's it he will conduct the orchestra that's there so they'll play um pieces from game of thrones and there should be screens around that show scenes from game of thrones and sometimes there'll be live singers that come out or like sort of a group of them and uh, musicians as well like a cellist or a harpist or something and normally it's quite interactive because they might I know from the one I saw on YouTube, um, they there were balconies and stuff. I mean, this is Wembley, so probably, I don't know how it would work. But there were balconies and they had, you know, the opening credits where it's sort of like cogs that come out of the ground. They had that projected onto the balconies, which looked really cool. So I'm very excited. I'm also excited to see what the souvenirs might look like as well. <laughs> I'm a sucker for a souvenir shop. Um... But yes, so just checking in to say good morning to you all, and I will catch up with you later. Hey guys, good afternoon. I am home, finally. I'm actually home later than I should be. I worked an hour's overtime. So, that's good though. It's not too bad, because it's, you know, extra money and stuff. <clears throat> oh, I'm out of breath, because I've been rushing around. Uh, had a good day today. It was really busy, like hectic busy, but good busy, you know, um, and good stress, not bad stress. As you can see, I'm in the office and I'm going to start editing part of this weekly vlog because me and David want to do something tonight, which will be super fun. So that is what I'm going to get up to. Um, and I'll check in with you guys later. Oh. So it's evening now and we are currently upstairs <laughs> um, watching some of uh, the Bake Off the Professionals and I'm about to tick, tuck, tick, tuck into my hotel chocolate chocolate. Yes. And I've picked the raspberry rose and lychee. So, so that's what it looks like. Can smell the raspberry. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can I go get a yarn? Wow. You can taste the rose. <laughs> kind of like eating hand cream. 
you can get the tanginess of the raspberry but yeah the rose is really powerful I'm going to save the other one for David <laughs> hey Bailey <laughs> yeah so we're just going to carry on watching Bake Off and yeah probably go to sleep but it's Friday tomorrow and then three day weekend whoop whoop she looks like such a little lurker. Can you see her? Barely. There she is. Little lurker. Little stalker. Oh, hello and happy Friday. <laughs> it is currently... Ugh, it is currently... 5.21 p.m. I didn't say good morning this morning because I was busy doing stuff at home for work and then I've literally just got home now. I am two and a half hours late <laughs> to get home um, but it's okay but thank god it's done and thank god it's the weekend because I'm knackered and I have, I have a headache as well. Um, but I mean for my first week it's been been good <laughs> and I've earned three and a half hours overtime as well which um isn't bad so three and a half hours of Disney Disney money Disney dollars yeah so David is almost home and I think we're gonna be cheeky and get a takeaway tonight because we've earned it <laughs> um yeah so just checking in for the day. <laughs> I'll catch up with you later because I need to get changed and stuff. <laughs> oh my god, we just watched the second trailer for Christopher Robin and it's so cute. It's so cute. David's home. Hello. And he thinks it's cute too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're going to go and see it. Yeah. Piglet. Piglet is just so small and so cute and Pooh is just Pooh Bear and Eeyore is awesome and didn't see much of Rabbit and Owl and then Little Roo and yeah, Little Roo. and do you know what I love the bit where it's showing Pooh like walking along mm. brushing the grass or whatever that was like very arty but oh my yeah. god that is so cute <sighs> I want all of them as well we have to buy all of them as plushes well, yeah, I mean, you've always wanted an original Pooh Bear plush. I don't have one, no. But this, this will probably, well, this will be a good... This isn't going to be an original Pooh Bear plush, though, because this is going to be from that movie. But I like the style. I quite like, um, Stife, Stife Bears? Steve? No, Stife. Which is, like, the teddy bears company kind of thing. And I know they do Stife Pooh Bears, but that's the kind of style that they are. Like, Tigger looks old. Yeah, but that's... Yeah, but that, that's... Is your bit... Well, no, because here's the thing, right? In theory, they are old. Because when Chris yeah. Wall was a young... My guess is when he's a young boy, they look a lot smoother and stuff. And then when he's an adult, mm. they but grow as well. we saw them at the beginning when they were at their little tea party and stuff. Yeah, How but so in, in a trailer, it all flashes so quickly. You don't really I like... Know. And it might be they're still editing it. But I reckon they'll be a lot smoother and not as old looking. And when, mm. it's like when he's older, they'll be older as well because they grow so cute out in be. August which is a shame because if it was out in July I could have gone for my birthday bloody birthdays hmm. <laughs> so yeah that's our trailer reaction to Christopher Robin trailer <gasps> 2 oh, it's so cute have you guys seen it let us know what you think like because I've not seen goodbye Christopher Robin I don't really know what that's about I do want to watch it though because I've heard it's good but yeah let us know what you thought of the trailer and if you're going to go and see it too <laughs> the size of this fish is freaking huge. I mean, like, that's my hand. That fish is always really big. Yeah, it's, it's massive. Mm. Yummy. So we're having this for dinner. Fish and chip Friday. Although David's having kebab instead. Donna meat and chip. Just Donna meat, yeah. Make and my we're watching Arrow. Mm. So yeah. Good morning and happy Saturday. It is Saturday, it's the weekend, and it is currently 6.42. I've been up, well I've been up since 5. 
Um, and I've been downstairs for about 15 minutes already, so I'm currently drinking my tea. My fox and the hound mug. Can't remember what last Saturday's mug was. Um, and I have an annoyingly cute little baby with me. <laughs> Just lying there, sleeping. She's so cute. But she's also so annoying because she she basically just took forever to settle in this position. And if I'm being honest, and David's probably going to tell me off, I didn't really want her to lie here. Oh, sorry, baby. Yeah, I didn't really want her to lie here because I just wanted to come downstairs, be quiet and settled, and just watch YouTube with my tea. But... Bell had other ideas. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't complain because it's nice that she wants to lie with me, but <sighs> yeah, <laughs> I'll give you one last shot. <laughs> How cute she looks! I literally right. So you can see this is this is where I was sitting. And I literally had to wrap the blanket around her and then, like, roll off the sofa <laughs> to get off. All because I love you so much and I don't want to disturb you. Hi. She's like, get that camera out my face, Mum. <laughs> Hello. David's with me now. Hello. <laughs> um, so, the plan for today is we're going to go see Deadpool. And, oh, you need to book your ticket for Avengers. Done it in the bathroom. Oh, you've done it? Oh, now. okay. <laughs> I literally picked the seat as you were picking the seat. <laughs> yeah, we can't book <coughs> tickets together on our um, Limitless cards. We have to book them separately. Um, every Noisy. Time, every time I vlog, she comes down the stairs. <laughs> Jasmine, want to be on the vlog. Yeah, so we're going to see Deadpool 2 and Avengers Infinity War. Because why not? Yeah, and we're just debating what to do because the trains are crap today. Keep being cancelled, they've got a weekend yeah. timetable. So, so we're yeah. just debating whether to go now so that we don't risk having one of two trains that are possible to take cancelled or just wait and see how it goes. Like there's an 1116 train or an 1146. The ones in between have been cancelled. So we don't know what to do. <laughs> mm, there's not a lot down there to do in the area so no and know. we're not having lunch out because we're having dinner out so <laughs> yeah. it's like yeah what does one do yeah. but we'll figure it out um i don't think we're gonna take the camera with us no nah, that's probably no point no. can't really show you the cinema i mean you've, you've probably seen bits of the cinema. Well, whenever we get to the cinema, mm. it's dark by the time we get inside the screen. Mm. So... Worst case scenario, we can use <laughs> our phones and just add the footage into this. Yeah, we could do. Maybe. We'll see. But yeah, that's what we're doing today, but we'll let you know what we thought of the films. Yeah. Well, we know one of them's good already, so... Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we know... We already told you what we thought of Infinity War. We'll let you know what we think about Deadpool. And we're definitely going this time because look, we're ready to go. <laughs> yeah, so we'll catch up with you later. Cool. Whoa. I don't know how this is coming out. Whoa. No, unless you want to just, like get struck by lightning. I <laughs> get struck by lightning. <laughs> oh my god! Can you hear that? Oh my god!
Good morning and happy Sunday! Oh my god, my face is so shiny. <laughs> um, happy Sunday, everybody. So, we didn't film when we got back last night because um, we got back late. <laughs> so, we've, I figured we'd fill you in this morning. Um, excuse me, David's still asleep because it's 7 o'clock. Uh, so, We'll fill you in when David wakes up. But it was a good day yesterday. Um, yeah, I saw, went into Waterstones and looked at a lot of books that were like childhood memories and it now makes me want to get them again. Um, what was it? I saw the Flower Fairies, which um, I used to have dolls of, like Barbie dolls of them. That's how I remember them. I don't remember the books, I remember the dolls. And, oh, it was so cute. But the book is gorgeous, because it's just the illustrations, like, so beautiful. Like, this is the front cover, and then that's the inside of the book. And then saw Brambley Hedge. Does anyone remember Brambley Hedge? So cute. And saw this as well, The Wind in the Willows. And that's where I know Mr Toad from. Also saw um, some nice Peter Pan books, some nice Alice books as well. So I think I'll be putting some of these uh, classic illustrated books on my... Uh, on my wish list. <laughs> Birthday's coming up. Um, I like those kind of things because David got me a really nice Winnie the Pooh book with the classic uh, a, um, illustrations and stuff in and stories. It's really cute. I did start reading it but then stopped for some reason. Anywho, so sitting downstairs, obviously, um, with my cup of tea. I've got my Tsum Tsum mug today, which we, well, yeah, we got for Christmas from Carl and Sarah of Disney Polar. So thanks guys. <laughs> um, what else? What else? Oh yeah. Did you, anyone get that crazy thunderstorm last night? Thunder and lightning storm last night. My God, it woke me up. There was this almighty crack. It sounded like, Dave thinks it hit something. And yeah, that, and then my room was, or our room was just lighting up like a bloody disco. It was ridiculous. And then the back of the house as well, it was, it's just crazy. We got some footage, so you would have, um, would have seen that before this. But yeah, did anyone else get a crazy thunderstorm? Did you get any photos or any good footage? So I'm going to watch, watch my vlogs and I'll catch up with you guys later. Hello! So, it's actually Monday. <laughs> we, um... Hi, David! Hello! Yeah, we didn't vlog... I don't think we vlogged at all yesterday. No, I did. I said hello in the morning. Um, but yeah, we didn't take the camera with us, and I'm glad we didn't. Um, but I do have some footage from yesterday from the Game of Thrones live experience. It was really, really good. Um, so I'll, I'll insert the clips after this. <laughs>
dancing master, Serial Forever. You must listen to me, boy. I'm a girl. Boy, girl. You are a sword. You are not holding a battle axe. You are holding a needle. Dracarys. vlogged was mon uh, Sunday morning and I said we'd give you a quick review of Deadpool um, yeah it was really good 
enjoyed it. It was funny, but I think we both agreed that um, the first one was much, much better. For us. Um, for us, yeah. In terms of, I felt the first one was a lot more funnier. And I, I think David disagrees with me on this one, but I felt like the action scenes, there was more to them in the first one than there was this one. Like, yeah, fine, there was action scenes, but it wasn't like, oh, oh, God, okay. <laughs> or, whoa. <laughs> Well, for me it wasn't anyway. Yeah. But maybe I need to watch it again, I don't know. But Yeah, what did you think? I enjoyed it, it was really, really good. Really, really good film. Yeah, and uh, I'm glad they got to make a second one. And I love the Bond Oh my song, God, obviously. yes. Um, that's not a spoiler, everyone knows there's a song called Ashes, it's like a Bond oh, song. that was so um, cool. I didn't know they were going to do that. No, nah. so, but yeah, that's spoilers. Yeah, and a really, really good film. I think the first one was a bit more streamlined, um, more of a contained story for me. Um... But both films are really, really good, yeah. So, fair yeah. play. It's, uh, yes. It's going to wait for Incredibles and other stuff. Yeah, so much. Well, quite a few out. Got There's a, quite a few bit of a wait in months. between them. <clears throat> um, but our next film is probably going to be Jurassic World, which I'm quite excited for. So, mm. I'll have to. I was saying to David, should I watch, what do you guys think? Should I watch all the Jurassic Parks or should I just watch Jurassic World? <laughs> probably just Jurassic World. <laughs> yeah, I know you said that already. Um, but yeah, we're going to go now because we're going to start the next weekly vlog. Yes, we're doing a third one. <laughs> um, yeah, so I want to say thank you very much for watching. And I'm sorry I've missed out a couple of days on this. But it's life. That's what we do. <laughs> and we'll see you soon. <laughs> yeah, see you after this one. Bye. Bye. Bye.